Good morning. It's Monday, November 27th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled Semper Fidelis, and our scripture is 2 Timothy chapter 2, where the Apostle Paul writes, Always remember that Jesus Christ, a descendant of King David, was raised from the dead. This is the good news I preach, and because I preach this good news, I am suffering and have been chained like a criminal. But the word of God cannot be chained, so I am willing to endure anything if it will bring salvation and eternal glory in Christ Jesus to those God has chosen. This is a trustworthy saying. If we die with him, we will also live with him. If we endure hardship, we will reign with him. If we deny him, he will deny us. If we are unfaithful, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny who he is. United States Marines greet each other with the motto, Semper Fi, a shortened version of Semper Fidelis. The phrase means always faithful and is indicative of the character of those who serve a higher guiding principle than self-interest. Long before the beginning of U.S. fighting forces, the Apostle Paul wrote to his protege Timothy, an aspiring preacher of the gospel, to encourage and admonish him to serve Christ's kingdom with an unswerving loyalty. Paul described the resurrected Jesus as faithful. Dying with him, we are raised to newness of life by him. Enduring hardship, we will reign with him. Denying him, we will be judged by him. And in his supreme compassion, when we are less than Semper Fi, he is still faithful. This could be summed up in one short verse of Malachi chapter 3. I am the Lord, and I do not change. By comparison, human beings can be remarkably unloyal. Our lives typically begin in one direction and, influenced by any of the seven deadly sins, we change our employment, our spouse, promises, gender, and a whole host of other possibilities. Despite the call to be faithful, human allegiance is usually sold to the highest bidder. I'm reminded of an elder statesman of the Southern Baptist tribe I met in 1981, Vance Havner, who said, Faith that fizzles at the finish was fickle from the first. It's true. Most mottos sound wonderful, even noble. Most human attempts to live up to those mottos have holes like Swiss cheese. So, what's the prescription for our fickle faith? Well, I'm glad you asked. And let me point us back to the Apostle's opening line to Timothy. Always remember that Jesus Christ, a descendant of King David, was raised from the dead. This is the good news I preach. If there's anything that can keep us close to Jesus, it is the resurrection of God's perfect Lamb, crucified for our sins, raised to conquer death in the grave. In staying faithful to proclaim that, we also preach good news to our own souls. For you today, find a way to proclaim His resurrection every day, in every circumstance, and as many have said, always preach the gospel, even use words if necessary. What that means for each of us is, nothing will help keep you faithful like engaging in the work of He who is Semper Fi. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.